Well, good morning, folks. So I just want to, um, I had this uh, really cool book about praying for my future wife. I love it, man. Praise to the glory of the Lord. So I just want to read one of the um, the passages uh, I love to read. And the title of it, it says, Her Husband. And then it goes on to say, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm chapter 51, verses 10. Show me where my attitude and thoughts are not what you would have them to be, especially towards my future wife. Convict me when I am being unforgiving. Help me to quickly let go of any anger so that confusion will not have a place in my mind. If there is behavior in me that needs to change, enable me to make changes that last. Whatever you reveal to me, I will confess to you as sin. Make me a man after your own heart. Enable me to be the head of my home and family, just as you created me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. And then there's always a wonderful and beautiful scripture to back it up. So James chapter 5, verses 16 says, The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. As a single man, I'm a firm, firm believer that, you know, if I want to get married, then I should be praying for my marriage um, way before I get married, before I even have a fiancé, before I even start dating. Um... I want to be a little bit more prepared. So, this is just an encouragement for future husbands and for future wives to know that there are a few men out there that ain't playing no games. That they want to pray for you, and we're going to pray for you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because a man is a man, and we ain't got time to play. Um, so this is just an encouragement. So, wifey, get prepared uh, for your future husband. I love you. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.